do me checks today and then I got some money that I need to spend. You're not working with the cops, is you? No, no, no. And then they shake him down. Make sure you don't got no wires right, on him. Right. I got you, I got you. Let me Yeah, yeah. Let me see. No, no. He's all good from here. Good. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Let me check this side. Check his hoodie too. Any uh bugs, anything like that. No, nah, no, nah, he's he's good. He's good. All right. Sorry you had to go through that, little bro, but I'm, I got PTSD. You know what I'm saying? I just did a 25-year bid, and these cops been trying to get me back in ever since. You know what I'm saying? Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, wait, what's, hey, what's going up, on, officer? P.O.? I'll, I'll, I'll catch you what's later, officer. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? I, I just finished up my shower. I'm feeling real fresh, baby. Wired up. I just beat that uh, in yeah. 2K. Took all his money. <laughs> we could uh, we could do this uh, in in your domicile if you'd like, or we could go down to the station. Um. Oh, what's? Oh, you need a, a urine sample? Sure do. All right. Where's the cup? I'll just uh, I'll do it right here in the corner. Let's go. All yeah. right. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, it. Uh, you heard anything about uh, some Peruvian snowflake hitting the streets? <laughs> nah. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that come in and out of this city, but I've never heard of any uh, Peruvian. Uh, what did you call it? Peruvian what? Uh, Here you go. By the way, snowflake. That cocaine, man. It, oh, that, it don't. That. It don't. Oh, cocaine. Oh, I, I mean, I was about to say it doesn't snow in California. Are you kidding me? Uh, nah, bro. That's some uh, of the finest cocaine a man could obtain. Oh no, nah, yeah, I, I'm not too sure about that, officer. But uh, if I see anything, I'll most definitely let you know. You know that, then you know we'll, we'll just keep that between you and I. You know, uh, Lebowski likes to get wet. Ah, ah. Speaking of, um, I was hoping we could have a a conversation. Uh, you look like a man Absolutely. of honor. And you look like a, a businessman as well. Maybe. I'm definitely an entrepreneur. Yeah. So maybe we could uh, set something up. I think uh, it'll benefit both parties. All right. And we could uh, keep it under the rug as well. Keep it on the low. Absolutely. All right. Uh, as soon as I get yeah, us uh, some free time. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll hit you up uh, on the phone, on the burner. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your sample back to the station. So, uh. I don't want the board of parole jamming you <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a good day. Yeah, you too, officer. Uh, I like the new truck, by the way. Looks great. Oh, uh, no, that shit's nice, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, spectacular. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. And I'm going to just get uh, two of them zips and shit, and I'll be on my way. I'll see how they move. All right, back that, back that. Word up. Yeah. Hey, what are you getting? He getting a meth? Yeah. Nah, I'm getting that H. Everyone. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yeah. No more. He's sending, he's, sending you, hey. he's sending you 18. He's sending you 18 for both of them. What do you want? Two of them. Two of them. So yeah, two, two zips. 18, yeah. Oh, dang. I don't got no more. Dang. I don't have, I don't have any more spoons. <laughs> and I don't got no more hair on. You don't got no more hair How on. How you ain't got no more hair on? Bro. Look. I, I used it, right? Cause I wanted you, to see if I'd get him money. You, you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, man. Hey, yeah, hey, listen, J Dog. Listen, if you're gonna be selling that, shit, you can't be tapping into your own product, gang. You feel what I'm saying? That's just oh, how, shit. how things turn oh, into. Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, I sent you the bread already. I gotta go pick some shit up on the north end. By the time I come back, I would expect to see my drugs here or the rest of my money. Oh uh, yo, um, this I think 
I think Banziani's outside. If he's outside, somebody just bring him over here. What's, what's going on, y'all? Uh, I'm supposed to meet uh, on Chiano. It's a. Uh... It's right in there, gang. He, he right over there. All right. Y'all stay out here. Make sure no cops is uh coming and all that. I got more business to do. Yo, just um, what, bring Marty over here for me. You can send him upstairs when you come over here. What's going on? What's going on? What's up, Pucci? Anciano. <laughs> I see you got this sh jumping. Benziano, you feel me? You know, he's at the expand real quick. I, 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 I like what I'm seeing. I mean, today was a good payday. I don't know about you, but... This oh, is we eating. And we eating. <laughs> we all know. We eating over yeah. here on this side too. Been making a good amount of sales. That's why I'm trying to expand the operation a little bit, you know. That's what I like. Get to everything hear. in tune. That's Some of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Snow. So, yeah, word around town. You got the you got the purest uh, white girl in the city. That's 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 that's, that's, uh, that's that's actually very true. Straight from Colombia. Wow, South lab source, approved. So. Lab tested? Hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, as as per the Colombians, you know. As per the Colombians. Obviously, Columbia. as per the Colombians. But I could genuinely vouch for the for the snow. I've done it myself a little bit just to test it out. It tests out. All right, I gave all it to right. some of my junkies. They love that shit. So this shit is hitting. Really I mean, what you trying to... I see it's lined up out here like it's... In Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know I can't complain about business over here. We've been moving that. Sure. But hey, I've been word on word around town is that you guys been moving some product of your own. Of course. Yeah, of course. I, I heard down on that side we got junkies galore. Oh man. On the streets. I mean this syrup. I mean we got Tris activists. We got it. Oh, I mean, the streets is really, really going crazy. I mean, they're really loving this shit, B. Word up. I mean, so if you ever need some shit, feel free to swing by Grove any any given time. You know, we always got it on us, but. Yeah, yeah. what it do, gang? We about to send that back to you until we get his little straightened up. I got to wait for I got to wait for my brother to fly back in from out of town. All right, that's cool. That's cool. But I'm just more worried about your partner right here. I mean, if he using that shit on the side, you know, that shit could uh, nah, be yeah, detrimental. Man. I'm already knowing. That's why I sound surprised his ass ain't even, ain't even <laughs> dead right now doing that. <laughs> but I'm going to let I'm I got to wait for my brother to fly back in because that's this is his recruit. And I ain't about to cross the line with that one right now. <laughs> for sure. For sure. You good. You good. Oh. So oh, out of yeah. respect, out of respect, we want to send your bread back to you. All right, I'll stop by, yeah. uh, you know, either tomorrow or next week type shit. And if y'all got that, I definitely want to see if it's worth Yo. What's going on? You uh, interested in any of these calls? Yeah, I'm sure about this green one, eh? Green one? All right. Um, yeah. This one is discounted as half off, so that's $500. And since you waited here and texted me, uh, I'm gonna give you an extra discount for sixty percent off. So all you gotta pay me is four hundred for this whip. For the, uh, no day. worries. Yo, let me know. Uh, holy, shit. holy. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me know uh, when the payment is sent through, and I'll uh, have you on your way. <laughs> yes, yeah, come for it. Come for it. All right, my brother. You're all set. You're all good to go. That's fine. See you later. Yep. Hey boss man, I, I had some situation to handle. You need your shit? You need your stuff fixed? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. I, I mean, I've been waiting out here in the pouring rain, man. Uh, my bad. I got put over, put over by the police. Oh shit! I know how that go. Just another black man in America, man. All right. Yeah, man, uh, hey, what's your story, my guy. <laughs> it's a long story, man. It's a long I, I, story. I, I, uh, you just need you just need your door fixed. That's it. Yeah, I just need uh my door fixed. How much is that gonna run me? I. Jeez, just send me out there 500. 500? All right, what time uh, should I come back to pick it up? Um, matter of fact, come back in 30 minutes. 30 minutes, so uh, I'm going to come back at 16 o'clock on the phone. All right, baby. All right. A few moments later. All right. Uh, Boss, man. All fixed? Yes, yeah, sir. I even shined your room for you. Holy shit, man. You guys are fast. Oh, sir. yeah. All right. I, uh, you want to double check your cash app, see if it went through? Let's see. I got you. Yes, sir. You good to go. All right, my brother. I appreciate it. I'll come down next time I yes, have sir. any issues. Let us know. I'm open for business. <laughs> I'll let my boys know, man. For sure. 
Hello. Hello. How can I help? Oh, are you? Just don't to say someone? hi no more. No, Damn. Oh shit. You was talking. Oh, shit. my phone B was going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yo, what's yeah. up, son? Yeah, what's good? What's going on? Yeah. You know, I'm just this over here. Is cold. This is cold. This is cold. Walk by my <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to keep it pushing, no. B. That's it. Yeah, How can I help you today? What's good? Uh, What's your top uh flower for today? I ain't even going to lie to you, my boy. Cookies. Perkies? That's a lie. It's a cookies. Cookies. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was shit. about to say. Uh, Perkies. Oh, my God. Not what I signed up no. for, but uh, let me get an ounce of that cookies. Uh, okay, I'll see how much I have. I ain't gonna lie, cause I don't know how much I have on me. All right, let me know. So, what's going on, officer? How can I help you today? So obviously, as you know, explosion, kaboom. Uh, did you see anything out of the ordinary, or was it just a normal day for you? It was a very normal day for me. I was over by the uh, car dealership selling cars. All right, as I was making you... a sale. I heard an explosion behind me towards the gas station. I, I then looked behind yep. me and I seen fire and then I seen another explosion from a separate gas pump. After that, that's when I uh, made the call in and I left from there. I didn't see anybody. I didn't hear anything. I mean, basically I didn't see anybody, but I did hear an explosion and I did see fire up in the air. So obviously you're not in trouble or anything. It was just that I needed to get your point of view. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if that's all you got to say, then I guess I'll leave you to it. Have a good day. All right, officer, I'll see you around. They do anything to try and get me to fess up to something. I got to get my tattoo looked at. Hey, uh, little bro, you been trying to cop some shit off of me? Yeah. What you needed? What you got? We got, uh... Oh, wait, where you coming from, though? Because I don't even know you. What do you... No, I... From Manchester, but, like, got my stimmy checked today, and then I... Got some money that I need to spend. You're not working with the cops, is you? No, 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 no. Hernandez, shake him down. Make sure you don't got no All wires right, on him. Right. I got you, I got you. Let me... Yeah, yeah. Let me see. No, no. He's all good from here. All good. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Let me check this side. Check his hoodie, too. Any uh, bugs, anything like that? No, nah, no. Nah, he's he's good. He's good. All right. Sorry you had to go through that, little bro, but um, I got PTSD, you know what I'm saying? I just did a 25-year bid, and these cops been trying to get me back in ever since. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Bans, um, I don't know how to break it to you, but until we have a written, we need a written one, uh, the verbal wasn't enough. Um, the shop owner... Uh, couldn't, con isn't properly given evidence into whether he was there or not. We're currently reviewing that, but because you were in the area, we're going to have to detain you. The what? We're going to have to take you into the station and get a um, written statement off of you. Uh, everything a will written, be recorded. A written statement? Wait, what am I being detained for, sir? Uh, the explosion that happened earlier. Okay. Because we haven't managed to get to the bottom of it. We're currently reviewing... So, so you're going to... So, wait, so... You're going to accuse the person that made the call in I'm not of the actual... We're not, right. We're not accusing you. So why am I being detained? Statement. Right. So because we can't confirm whether you were there, you said you wasn't there. Fair enough. I believe you. I was at the car but dealership when this there. happened. I heard it. I seen the explosion and I called it in so that you guys can open up an investigation. Okay? Yes, and we're conducting that investigation, but because we can't confirm whether you were present or not, I'm not saying you was, I'm just saying there's a possibility that you could have been. Sir, I, I was believe. in the vicinity, I heard an explosion, and I called 911. Why am I being detained, or told that I'm being detained, and why must I come down for a written statement? I literally called the cops, I gave you my statement at my house, I don't wish to answer any more questions. Now, if you're going to detain me and bring me back to the station, so be it. But that will be a lawsuit against you and your department. Right. So, as I said, because we can't confirm whether you were there or not, I don't believe you was. What we're going to have to do is take you in. We'll, you don't have any charges at the moment. It's literally just a so set. You'll just we'll dump the case from you. There is no case here, sir, what? with me. All right. It's either you arrest me and detain me right now or I'm going to go about my day. What's what is it? Let me talk to the chief. Give me two yeah, seconds. Pl please uh, get a supervisor over here because um, you're holding up my 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 business, sir. And I did nothing wrong. Seconds. A few moments later. So, you're lucky. I'm not I've lucky. I'm not someone. lucky. I know what the f 
fuck is going on? <laughs> You're allowed to go. If I know I'm allowed to go. You didn't need to tell me that, officer. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm There's sorry. no hang on, okay? You have no right to detain me or accuse me for anything, especially when I'm the one calling in the crime. You know what? Next time, I'm just not going to call in something when I see it. No, 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 hang on. I never, I never like accused you of anything. I'm just going by what we had to do. But what we're going to do is we're going to let you go. If let me anything, go. <laughs> anything that could point towards you, we'll be back in touch. I'm sure we, well, we won't be in touch now, then. We go. will not be Have in touch. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Where is this at, son? I'm about to leave this, son. Down, down. There he is. Damn, son, it took you long enough. He's wrong with you. Hey, yo, you gonna hop in the car and not say nothing? On that bread, bro. I Calm feel down. You. I feel you. I feel you. Like, <laughs> out here just rolling up a blunt and all that. Can't even smoke this. How you doing tonight, gentlemen? All right, all right, all right. Any reasons to why I'm pulling you over? Uh, not that I can think of. All right, well, right there, left on Chamberlain, you guys did run through a red light at an excessive speed. I actually clocked you guys in at 65 and a 30. Okay, so. that's intense this car does not have good steering i would have went right into your car if i was going 65 around that corner yeah. no 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 no. i'm saying the guy clocked your car in at 65 i'm not saying you went around that corner at 65 oh, I right, you right. at 65 and then you ran that red light you know considering the car was going pretty fast you definitely wouldn't be able to stop it at that speed um i'm just let me go ahead and get your license and registration try to get you out of here as quick as possible if everything checks yeah. back all right sorry officer the the these electric cars, they be playing with me, bro. The gas pedal got stuck down. But here oh, they're quick. No, they're quick. Let's go ahead and sit tight for me, all right? I'll be right back with you. All right. <clears throat> all right. So, you know, since the department is coming coming up clean and, you know, we're really trying to take care of our citizens, you know, just go ahead and make sure you get that CAD system thing situated. You know, in eventual yeah. situations, we will have to, you know, place you under arrest for that. But as far as you are now, just go ahead and enjoy this car and, you know, take care of yourself, man, all right? I got you. I got you. I appreciate right. you. Have a nice day. All right, you as well, gentlemen. Yeah, boys, hold it down. Wear it up. Come on, J Dog. Meet me in the crib. So, uh, down what's, this shit. what's good, B? Uh, the other day, uh, yeah. I was trying to cop yeah, I in. Just wanted, and yeah, you... yeah, I just wanted to apologize for all that, bro. And today, I got what you need, bro. So, if you want to buy anything, you know, bro, I got you. I'm I, so, I apologize. For, um, it's for fine, that. my brother, but look, I'm a. I'm going to tell you from a man, and, and you a little bro out here, so, you know, it's only right that I give you, you know, the game and all that, you feel me? Listen, B, whatever you selling, B, don't, don't, you feel me, smoke or on your own supply, B. That shit is going to fuck you up, B. You know how many niggas I done seen out here give away their whole lives? They don't have it all, B. The cash, the cars, the hoes, the flows. Same. And they done threw it all away. Frank. Or a spoon of heroin, B. You know what I'm saying? So I would hate to see something like that happen to you, B. I was more disappointed that you took the drugs than, than you not even having it for me to sell. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that you came to your senses and all that. You feel me? I just want to see you do big things in these streets. And you can't do that if you strung out on heroin. What's going on, officer? You mentioned in a witness report. Yep. So I can get someone down there to talk to you. Uh, but originally you were mentioned in a witness report, so we need a statement from you. I'm gonna I already get, uh, gave my statement, officer. I already gave my statement. I told you that I heard an explosion. I turned around while I was at the car dealership and seen the explosion. I called 911 and said that there was an explosion at the gas station. Turned my phone off and continued with my sales at the at the car dealership. And then I went wherever I went. That's my statement, and that's what I'm sticking to. Give me two seconds. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. You just got to give that statement. It's fine. Two seconds. But I already gave the statement. Well, we, yeah, you got to bring seconds. your supervisor down two here seconds. so I can tell him too? Yep, absolutely fine. I'm going to talk to him now. All right. Yeah, you do that. A few moments later. What's going on, Sorry. sir? Sorry. Hey, this is uh, not a hostile encounter at all. I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is Detective absolutely. Snuffy. I'm with the 69th Precinct. Uh, Mr. Are you Mr. Marty by chance? Yeah, Mr. Banziani. Yes, he is speaking. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, sir. So it was brought to our attention that in a recent um, 
case of a gas station explosion from, I believe it was last night or yesterday. Uh, yep. Your name was kind of mentioned. And I was the caller. The, uh, I was the caller calling it in, saying that there was oh, you an were the explosion. Caller? Yes, I was. I was the oh, one that okay. called that in. So I don't know oh, why. That wasn't related to me. Yeah, I don't know why right. these guys are asking me questions. I told them that I I heard the explosion. I seen it. I called you guys saying that there's an explosion at the gas station. Maybe somebody needs help. And I got off the phone and I went about my day. But I don't know what uh, this officer, you know, he tried to pull some bullshit earlier. I don't know what he no was worries. thinking. Uh, well, if that's all right, is it okay if just you and I talk? Would you prefer that instead? Or do you I don't want to ask any more involved? questions. I already said my statement. Um, you know, I got to actually got to visit my wife and kids right now in a little bit so okay yeah. is is there any way we can schedule just a consultation later we don't have to do it today <sighs> like it's totally fine another day maybe but again there's not much to it i mean i seen the explosion uh i heard it uh you know i looked over my shoulder i said oh shit, there's fire in the air and a big explosion i should probably call the police so that they can you know handle the situation i didn't see okay. anybody i didn't hear anything but an explosion you know and that's all. I called you guys and I said there's an explosion at the gas station. Get here quickly. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, okay. So you weren't at like a car dealership or anything like that? I was at the car dealership. Or... I was selling cars at the car dealership. Oh, you were the one selling cars? Yes. Oh, okay. So you could see how close the gas station is. For me to hear that explosion, it's yeah. almost like, you know, what the hell is happening? Yeah. Yeah, it's like an earshot away. Yeah, I got you, man. You know? All right, well, no worries. Yeah, I appreciate you being honest, man. I appreciate it. Just want to let you get back to your family then, man. I, I appreciate you allowing me to at least, you know, ask some questions, you know, try and get a full head of the story because I am one of the detectives. I'm just trying to figure right. out what happened. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And I, no worries. I, respect I appreciate your, your cooperation, man. Yes, I really respect your professionalism. You know, I really appreciate that. And, you know, you, you've got my respect, sir. Hey, no worries. I really appreciate it, man. Well, hey, take care of yourself, man. Hopefully your wife and kids are all good, bro. Absolutely. Have a great day, man. You too, boss. That's for this mother... What's your badge number, sir? Uh, you right seven, here? Seven. Can I just point out? Hang on, hang on. 3877. Three, eight, eight, seven, seven. Seven. Can I point okay. out? Can I point out? This isn't me against you. This is what was mentioned in a, like, in a statement. I have okay. nothing against you. I know you were That's there. fine. And I told you what happened, and you continued to create this story about me being detained and, and having to go down to the station. I know my rights, man. I told you, go ahead, detain me, arrest me right now, and bring me down to the station. Because at what the end of it, it when I get out... For? You weren't there. You weren't there. You had no involvement. But you told me, there, you told me I was getting detained and that I would have to go down to the station, which is why, you know, of course you could see... How I could be furious because I'm the one calling in the crime and, yeah, I understand. I understand you know, that. and now like, I'm being well, accused well, of it. I don't know. It just didn't sit right with me. Yeah, I understand that. But obviously, if, you, if you're an officer me. and you've been told by a, a witness, firstly, the witness wasn't honest and they admitted that about 10 seconds in. They tried saying a bullshit story and then ended up changing it. So obviously, like, there's two different stories. And we have to get to, well, detective has to get to the bottom of it. We got told one thing, then another. So obviously, where's your shit? Like, he's just trying to find the bottom of it. I, I know you weren't there. Well, I know regardless, there. my, my yeah. life and freedom was put to the test, okay? I just got out, and for some shit like that to even be considered going to jail, you got to understand, I just did a 25-year bid, B, and I cannot go back. I can't afford it. I simply can't afford to yeah, go I mean, back to jail, B. Word up. Yeah, I completely understand that. Well, I'm going to shoot off. All right. Uh, love to your family. Sweet.